Hey everybody, hey, do you have a power vent, hot water heater, and the three inches come out, out the side of your house? Well, our porch is right here, and we're going to try and quiet this down. Let's see what we can do. What a, what a difference. Can you hear that? That is like incredible difference with that suppressor that we put on that hot water heater, on that vent. Okay, it's still running. What we're gonna do now, this is without the suppressor in. You can hear the difference. I'm, uh, you're about to hear the difference, I'm gonna say. So what I'm gonna do, I've already cut this elbow off um, but I'm a, I just got it sitting on there um, so I'm gonna cut the elbow off I'm gonna take it off and then I'm gonna measure with my tape how far it is from the outside where I cut it off to the elbow in the inside and then uh, I'm gonna get that measurement and then I'll show you what we're gonna do next So we got 41 inches from here to the back side of the elbow where it comes in and comes out in the inside. So it's 41 inches. So um, that is an important number. So let's go ahead to the next step. Okay, so what we did is uh, I didn't do a good job, but I got this cut off. And it was sitting like this coming out exiting because it's got a, a screen in it so what I'll do is I'll just uh, put it on the house like this still has a screen it still come out I'll clean this up uh, later on so there again what I'm doing is I'm not a HVAC guy I'm not a plumbing guy um, all I thought I saw this on YouTube and I thought I'd try it myself and it seems to work so I had 41 inches what this is is a piece of two inch uh, PVC pipe and all I did was take my drill I use a three-quarter inch uh, bit on this I don't think it really matters but I used a three-quarter and I just drilled a bunch of holes in this pipe now it was 41 inches so I only made this pipe 38 inches because I didn't want it going all the way into the back of that elbow I wanted it this side of that elbow a little bit so that's three inches and so I also cut a little angle on this as well so when the air comes up it's going to come out and there's no I have no restriction so um, so the air will come out the same way out this two inch pipe and it's only going to be like I say 38 inches. All we're going to do is we're going to wrap this with fiberglass insula insulation. If I had some wire, um, what I'd do is I'd use some wire, but I'm going to go ahead and use some zip ties and just tie this on around it. Now the other important thing is where this is where this angle is and it's coming out I want to make sure that this is my top so out here on the other end which will be out on my side is I made a little uh, black mark on this so if I gotta twist this back and forth to get it in there I can go ahead and I'm gonna know where uh, straight up is on this pipe so let's go ahead and I'm gonna wrap this and and get this on
I was kind of hoping that noisy thing would shut off while we're out here. There again, this is my up. And, uh... We'll just go ahead and uh, feed this in there. I got that up there so let's go ahead and see if you can see what that looks like so I just got it sitting there and with the foam and all that or I should say the insulation it kind of keeps it centered there again I will trim this later but let's just go ahead and put this on Once I trim that, nobody's going to know, right? Just you and I. So, what we're going to do is I'll go ahead and go and uh, kick in the hot water heater. And we'll get a, a measurement on that temperature gauge inside, and, or that uh, laser. And we'll see what the, if there's a big difference in temperature. Alright, let's get back at it. Okay, uh, with the suppressor on, this is the elbow that I didn't want to bring that all the way back into. So it's probably right in here or so, uh, the tip of it. So we're well, we're not going to be restricting that whatsoever. So what we're going to do is let's shoot uh, some temperatures. Okay, let's go ahead and shoot this, see where we're at. Um, we had 124. This is with the suppressor now. Let's see if we can uh, get this. Right there it says 120. We're at 120. Right there. Try it again. 120, 121, 122. Up to the top. Uh, reading is 118. Uh, let's see, over here to the corner is 93. 
90, yeah, 93. So without the suppressor, 124. Here, 120, 120, I'd call it 122. Without the suppressor, we had 118. With the suppressor, 120. Without the suppressor, 112. We're at 94. So, somewhat the same, and actually a little less uh, the farther out we go. So, huh, that tells me I, it ain't overheating. So, I'd have to say everything's working. Hey, what a difference. That's pretty crazy, isn't it? There again, build a suppressor. I got a suppressor for my 300 rum, which is a rifle. Now I got a suppressor for my hot water heater, my power vent. I don't know why it won't work, but uh, the temperatures don't lie. I mean, it ain't like it's as dangerously because that's restricting it. It ain't like it's it's hot, right? It's actually in cases a little bit lower. So I, I, I don't know, but the reason that we wanted to do that, I'll just show you. The reason we kind of wanted to do it was back here is our back porch. And yes, during the summer, we're going to be back here and, and the hot water heater is for our uh, domestic hot water and our in floor. But during the summer, the in floor ain't going to be on, but that far window is our bedroom. And in the middle of the night, when this would kick on, I, I could hear it. I mean, it ain't a big deal, but yes, I could hear it running. And so um, that was another reason why we did it. And then plus, during the summer, if we have uh, friends over and we're out here on the back porch, and if uh, somebody's doing dishes or somebody's in doing taking a shower or something, and the hot water heater kicks on and you're out here visiting you know you it's it's kind of it was hard to hear uh, hear the other people talk so we're literally six feet uh, from this right up here and you can't you really can't hear it so hey if this was helpful give us a thumbs up if you like our channel subscribe we're getting close to that 1000 and who knows what we're going to do next but hey we appreciate you watching our channel until next time uh happy hot water talk to you later